Hi everyone, today I'm going to share how I created this basal plan with growth animation like this. Let's start from the beginning. So here I have already created one and now I'm going to hide them and start from the beginning. Select the tree and from photo geometry add mesh. From mesh tab, I have already imported that pot here at the pot. From material tab, input uh, material by clicking this plus icon and add that pot material. Now from cut out mesh select the pot and add assign that material to the pot now what you have to do is select the mesh go to material from here select the pot material assign that material to uh, this mesh then that pot mesh will be here it will replace by the pot now it came huge from mesh gem I need to reduce the size i'll reduce it to 0 0.01 and it depends when which software you are making the model some sometimes it may be meter or centimeter according to that scale it will come so i'll keep it as this so i already have i can reduce it a little bit more okay i'll keep this much So this one has 0 0.005. Now uh, select the tree again from geometry selected. Then go to trunk, add the trunk to you. From spine tab, reduce that to 1.6 feet length. 1.6 feet and from a skin tab we need to reduce the radius okay i'll keep all 0 0.02 now select the stamp add branches i'll add big branches from generation add frequency okay that much is enough for the moment now select the stem go to material i'll add the material which i have already imported the bar now i'll add the leaf i I would like to add from uh, top, like tip to down. Select big branch, add leaf, and from a skin tab, we can reduce the leaf size. From generation, change the position to up. Well, I'm working from the top. From uh, mode, you have to change absolute to interval. It came with three. I'll reduce count two. Okay. Now from orientation tab, we give this value. Okay, out. Okay, that's fine now i have added the material i will add the leaf material here which i have already created here select the leaf so when you assign new leaf you will not get this much polygon because i have already edited assigned the material so you will get like this you'll get like this so what you have to do is select this one and add some more polygon 
uh, which is good for to create more details and volume and add as high and done so now we have uh, more polygon and now we can add more details now like we can fold it we can curl it and little twist and mount and from generation we can sync it because it's it's touching both the touching and top lip i will to reduce the size and from orientation we need to okay duplicate I'll duplicate this one and add we can create at once also but I prefer uh, like here maybe I need 10 more uh, sets so I prefer that uh, to create individually then I'll have more freedom to work with and then change the position little down If you have that issue then you can take another new leaf and from a skin tab reduce the size and then interval then you can change the position to down count to from orientation we have to make it right and up and rotate because some first one sometimes makes issue and then from generation you can change the position to here now we can add the same material to that now we can change the orientation we can fold little bit little bit curl little bit curl other way okay mm, okay that would be fine little down oh, okay yeah that's fine and i would like to reduce little Little bit is all 0 0.7. I'll give and we need to sync it. I think it's touching each other. So from generation, we can just sync it. Okay, that would be perfect. Now we can duplicate this one and create the next one rotate and from here you can put the position little down and from a skin you can even increase the size from here or with the number so again you can duplicate this one and add here and the same way from generation we can change the position or rotate and increase the size to 8 and we will give some different fold and curl amount
duplicate this one select this and from here change the position little down not too much rotate it and from generation from skin uh, increase the size now what we can do is with the same one we can grow other leaves so go to generation add frequency okay so we add frequency but our issue is we have all leaves the same size so what you have to do is we have to select generation go to size scalar we can break down from here to make it down like from top it will be smaller and bottom it will be uh, larger than top part and we have to give some uh, random rotation value so I prefer the way I have created this top four I prefer the same way to create that one so that's I'm just deleting this part and I will get the same way I created the others so select this one it don't take much time but uh, I feel that is better okay this one and then skin and size again select duplicate duplicate this add this go to generation again okay add this rotate skin duplicate add from generation change the position down and rotate it and we can add size so duplicate it add it and from here again we change the position and rotate it and size so for for bottom two three you can do together if you want the size Two more would be fine. Now select the stamp. We can from generation our uh, spine tab. You can add some gravity there. So we can do more modifications but um, I think that is fine you can check if everything is okay and if you want to change any kind of position or if you want to individually sync those to give the perfect shape so you have freedom to work with individual lifts set even you can change the color you can assign different material and here you can adjust the material also so I want to add some more glossiness here I can add the brightness so now I am going to show how we can create the growth we can show the growth animation it's like so that's how I have created this one okay I'll hide this one and I will show the uh, final version which I have created so 
so this one was the final version i have created now i'll show how did i do that animation so first of all we have to uh, i will increase the frame to 400 and add the growth so once you uh, select the growth it will disappear and now i'll reduce the speed 0 0.1 and now I will play the animation here. So here I have selected all frame. You can select uh, whatever the relevant one. And I'm not adding any wind for the moment. So here I'm going to play this one. With the growth animation. Oh, it has to be 0 0.1 select the growth 0 0.1 Okay, um, I'll show you this one already created here. So growth, select the growth and 0 0.1 and all frame is here. We have to go back and then add the animation here. So it's sometimes there are, you might face some issues. So you need to just restart that project. It's, it's better already to save the project and then restart so when you deselect this one here uh, i have selected all frame and then growth and end frame is 400 and then uh, speed is 0 0.1 and you can control the speed also from here you can break down now go back and start from the beginning So that's how I have created this one. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching.